it was fun to be back out there, you know. Uh, makes your heart feel good, you know, being on the field and doing what your love and life is uh, professionally. And kind of special seeing some of our players back out there, Peyton and CJ Clark, Isaiah Moore, and so many of them, unfortunately. But to have them back on the grass, you know, it's a great feeling as a coach to see those guys and just the emotions that some of them have, you know, coming out there again, putting the helmet on. So, you know, as far as practice, there's good energy, as you would expect, uh, on day one. You know, Devin Leary has a great command. I was impressed with Jack. Um, you know, coming in, learning the offense late. You know, just his ability to, to learn and MJ, both those young quarterbacks. So it was a good first day, you know, and you can kind of see the experience back there on defense. You'd expect them to be a little bit ahead of the curve. You mentioned the emotions in basketball, man. Yeah. I actually got a lot of life lessons you learned in real time about not taking pain for granted. Right. Um, how did it kind of help those guys this year? How getting that experience last year, like injury, the whole game being canceled, not being able to take pain for granted? Yeah, you know, I think, <laughs> unfortunately for all of us, I think uh, the tragedy and you know, injury in football. Those kind of things put life in perspective and make you assess and take inventory of what you have and how much you really appreciate certain things that maybe you take for granted, like practice, you know. And so these guys that, you know, were probably more excited about games and now it's like every day I gotta be out here is a blessing. And, and so you never want a guy to have to be injured. Uh, but the lesson you learn as an injured player is a very valuable one when it comes to that. So we're going to have a lot of that, you know, from a positive standpoint from last year's guys that are back. How do you think your team is handling the hype that you guys are dealing with so far? I mean, it's yeah. only one day of practice, but you guys have been dealing with this all season. Yeah, we've talked about all that since January. And, you know, last year's stats won't win this year's games. We know that. We've got some key pieces we have to replace, particularly on offense and the punter. So there's a lot of work to do. We're not going to earn any of the wins listening to things or hearing things from you guys. It is appreciated. You know, and these guys have earned the opportunity, but I think they're very aware, you know, what we have to do to stay where we want to be. And make no mistake about it, like, we're excited to play other people, you know, and, and we're excited to get back on the grass. And that whole experience we had, I think, has left a big chip there to get back out and play a game. Do you, you see a sense that this could be, you know, one of your best defenses? You know, so many things are. If all the things stay like they are, yes, you know, but so many things are just. In, First practice of 21 at camp. We got a long way to go, and, and the health factor, and all those things. If we can keep these guys on track, we have a chance to be really good on defense. Maybe this is a better team. Do they make practice at a different level? Yeah, the older guys do, for sure. You know, and they're in different shape, I think, than the younger guys. Like the heat didn't bother a lot of the guys that have been through this kind of stuff. And, you know, so that leadership, I think, rubs off. I mean, there's really a visible difference as a coach. You're seeing a first or second year player comparing them to a fifth and a six year player. Obviously, a big hole in the left tackle spot. Anthony Bell is getting the first two snaps today. I mean, what has he done this offseason to earn that role? He's had a tremendous offseason, you know, from January all the way through the summer. He's one of the guys Coach Thunder really pointed out. Uh, has changed his body in a good way. He's in great shape. He's bending well. He's long, as you know. He's got really good measurables. And he had a chance to learn from the best last year, and you see that he really took that to heart. You have to fill a role, obviously, at the running back position. How do you, how do you like a guy like Jordan Houston, how he's gone about yeah. his business? You know, quietly, behind the scenes, just working and waiting his turn and making plays where he can make plays. Uh, he did the block front last year against UNC, so today he caught a deep ball, did a really nice job on the route. He's ready. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm excited for Jordan. You know, not a lot of players would wait their turn. In today's college football, and he has so he's pulling it on. We know how strong your defense is going to be, but that linebacker position, you guys look really good. Yeah. Is this the deepest you've been in that position that you've been in? Well, it's the most experienced my top three have been. You know, I think behind those guys, we're fortunate that Betty and Jalen Scott have played. You know, we've got to get Caden Fordham going and give him some reps. We're going to be counting on him. And then replacing Levi Jones, you guys know how many things he did. That's a big focal point for us right now, is trying to figure out that part of it. Our same linebacker spot. You have Jalen Parker and Jordan Poole, those guys that you know, we're looking forward to watch there. I had a conversation with uh, Devin Carter last week. He said this year we're to be more consistent. Yeah. We all know he can make spectacular catches. What, what, what does being more consistent mean to you? You know, I think it's not letting his emotions get the best of him. He's an emotional player, which we like, but he needs to control that and not let them control him. And, and I think that's something that comes with maturity.
you guys have Friday, the Victory Day with Gigi's Playhouse. Yeah. Obviously, it's an organization you've worked with. Just how important is that relationship to your program? Yeah, I think it's really important. It's an awesome night. If you haven't seen it, uh, you want to feel good, come to that event. It's awesome. Our players get into it, and it's, you know, as a coach, me and Sarah, very personal, you know, to be able to get back to the community and make that group feel so special and make them feel like they're part of our, our team that night. You guys gave Devin there, you know, some more responsibility this offseason. Sure. Um, you know, have you seen him grow as a leader in different ways that you haven't seen before? Yeah, I don't really think he gave it to him. I think he earned it. You know, it's something that it's not like, hey, let's give this guy something. To, you know, I mean, it's, he's ready. You know, and so now it's just assigning him things that he can do as a leader instead of him worrying about other things. You know, and he's put himself in a really good position. All right, thank you.